babies, young people, old people, dead people, new people, the housing market. What do all these random things have to do with each other? What does that mean for the future of our local housing market? Stick around to find out in this episode of The Lead. StatCan just released their latest population projections for all provinces in Canada, featuring 10 growth scenarios for each province, ranging from low growth to high growth. Here's a plot of what these scenarios look like for BC over the next 20 years. One of the interesting things about this plot is that all of the scenarios are pointing upwards. There are no scenarios in which StatCan forecasts BC's population to decline in the future. But the story doesn't end there. Things get a lot more interesting once we start thinking about the components of population growth. What exactly does that mean? Well, population growth actually originates from various sources. Broadly speaking, the main sources are migration, which is mostly made up of people moving from international and interprovincial sources. And then you have domestic population growth, which is often referred to as the natural increase. In simple math, the natural increase is what you get when you subtract the number of deaths in the province from the number of births over some time period. I know, it's a bit of a morbid concept, but just stay with me for a minute. Now, an interesting feature about the natural increase for BC is that if we plot it out for the 10 growth scenarios, only two scenarios have the natural increase remaining in positive territory over the next 20 years. Wait, hold on. How can the natural increase be a negative number? It's actually pretty simple. This happens when the number of deaths in the province is greater than the number of births. And when that happens, it means that BC is not growing domestically on its own. So, if our population isn't growing domestically, then how can it be growing? Good question. The answer is through international and interprovincial sources. So what does this mean for a local housing market? Well, we know we expect a lot of population growth over the next 20 years. And we also know that the majority of this growth is going to originate from sources outside of BC's borders. And we also know that a lot of that growth is going to settle in our major urban areas such as Metro Vancouver. And so, if we aren't building enough new housing supply to accommodate all of this growth, as has been the case historically, it's very likely that all of this new demand is going to start butting up against a relatively fixed supply of housing. You don't really have to be an economist to figure out what happens when you have a fixed supply of something and a huge amount of demand for it. Putting it all together, these projections suggest there will continue to be very strong demographic support underpinning demand in our local market for many years to come. And that's despite whatever short-term impacts macroeconomic factors or world events might throw our way. So there you have it population growth and the impact on the future of our local market all in under three minutes. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for future episodes of The Lead.